became this red light. Just as round as the moon. A large red pulsating light. Came up out of the Gallo, came directly at us, and all I could think of, we were up on this long road, all I could think of was that it was a plane with that was in trouble when trying to land. And uh, I I know that Lyman agreed I must we must have talked something. The the bar ditch was awfully deep and we went off on that side. It's a wonder the thing didn't turn over with the load we had. But anyway he got out and run down the hill and I had a heck of a time getting my door open, but I did get out and I saw it not through the windshield. And this light came right straight over us and stood there, just as still. And all at one time, it took off and went on with it in another direction. Now, it didn't occur to me at the time until the next day, there was not a sound. No sound. You were outside the pickup at that time. I was outside the pickup. I was not seeing it through glass. And there was not any sound. And I said to Lyman, I'm going to call. We had a telephone to then, too. And it must have had part of this house built. And uh, I said, I'm going to call White Sands and tell them they lost one of their rockets. He says, you just shut up and don't say one word. They'll make a fool out of you. And they already had two or three people who had seen things. And uh, I was just convinced it was some earthly thing that had gotten loose. But I would like to ask you all, is there any theory of anybody has had a theory that this is a light thing? I mean... Like we send a searchlight. The searchlight doesn't make any sound. You throw a baseball through the air and it makes a sound. And I can't help but think that if it appeared to me that this thing was uh, not over 100 feet above, maybe not most of that much, I couldn't really tell. It was pitch dark. It was something I'd never seen before, and uh, has anybody ever How's seen How's the weather like? Clear. Like, clear. Yeah, I remember there was no muddy road, no nothing like that. I've oh, heard hundreds and hundreds of reports like that. And you've heard that they don't make a sound. Mm -hmm. yeah. Has anybody said that it could be a sign? Uh, uh, something that's beamed from somewhere else? Your guess is as good as anybody else's? Speculation, uh, theories about like holographic projections that almost appear to be three-dimensional from a projector that it's you not even a solid object, it's just a projection, just a ball of light. Well, this we, was we a pulsating red, round thing. What shade of red? I'd say it was a little bit uh, yellow red. Just a little yellow red. Lots of red to it. Orange red. More orange red, yes. If I'm going to my palette, I'd pick up the yellow red. Mm -hmm. But it would be an orange red. Well, we even have lots of reports of huge vehicles hovering over people's heads with no sound at all. And they can tell that it's a vehicle. Yes. Daytime. And no sound. Mm -hmm. Well, how do you explain that? Because, like I said, you throw a ball through the air and you've got a sound. The theory there is, too, that somehow the object is able to, uh, with some type of... Uh, a, a, for a field that would surround the object actually draw the surrounding air molecules with it that would serve to cushion it and eliminate the friction, the air friction. Something. 
I know it's thinking Greek. But really, so in other words, we don't know. There's no friction. In other words, there's no. Well, you know what a sonic boom is, as yeah. far as because that's where the air is separated by the supersonic jet, and as it comes together, it claps. So whatever this is, it doesn't cause that. It doesn't allow it to come together. It doesn't seem to have to come together. There, there seems to be no break in the air. So that's where the theory that it's actually drawing air with it. See, too, when you have an object that moves that fast, so that the friction would cause it to start to glow. That's where, like, a meteorite breaks up, or even a satellite in re-entry would burn up as it comes into the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We don't get to that. Well, we this thing this. wasn't a meteorite because it stood there. Uh, maybe they were uh, seeing how smart we were to see if they wanted to ask us a few questions. I don't know. We decided they didn't. How long did it sit there? You know, you're under such a stress at the time, it's hard to say. I would say a few seconds, uh, maybe certainly not more than three to five minutes. But you were moving in the truck at the time. No, I had, had stopped. stopped the truck. You had stopped? Yes. Was it up ahead of the truck as it appeared to hover, or was it, it overhead? It hovered right overhead. Right overhead. Mm -hmm. If I had been in the truck, I couldn't have seen it. But I had, uh, you so know, it's hard to open a pickup truck. Uh, looked out to the windshield. I didn't look out through the windshield. Um, I did when I first saw it. Right. My husband had run off down the draw, and he kept hollering at me to come on out his side. And I, really, I think I was afraid that uh, the whole pickup would turn over because that was a deep barbage. I've heard that they've got that road paved now, and I don't know what kind of barbage is it. That one was deep. And uh, anyway, I remember struggling out on the driver's side and uh, stood there because by that time, by the time I got out, I could see that it was not an airplane that was trying to land and come down the road. But that's what I thought it was. Sorry. Could this have been in 1949? It could have been. Uh, I couldn't swear to the date. I hauled an awful lot of feed by myself. Uh, his eyes got so bad that... Well, when did his eyes get bad? Uh, I guess he had some eye problems from the time I first knew him. Uh, but uh, they were not treated right. until... Uh, late 40s. Mm -hmm. And by that time it was really too late. He, he was blind for four or five years before he died. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and he died quite a few years ago, right? Six years ago. Oh, six years ago. Seven years ago. Mm -hmm. In January. Next January. Yeah, he lived to be 86. He and Clinty Saltemeyer saw some things. I don't know if they were told one either or not. And I know I saw one that looked like a campsite about 11 o'clock at night one night. I went, this was a crooked road that went from Saltemeyer's to our place. And um, we had had a lot of sheep stealing. I've got a snapshot over there of where Treats put out a, a trap. You know, a sign that said there would be a, a that they would pay a, they would pay for information on the sheep. Like reward this. for it. Yes, a reward. And uh, I went right home and called Clinton and of course got him out of bed. Told him that this campsite was up above, there had been an old road there. And Clanny says, why, that road washed out to where nobody could get in there. And they went up there the next morning and come around from the top side, and they said they found a dead uh, 
Well, I believe it was a cat. A cat that was in there. Was there evidence of a cat player? You know, I don't remember, but I do remember what looked to me as I passed it like a, a light, a lantern light that would show through a tent. Some of the openings in the tent. Anybody moving around? No, I didn't see anybody. See, I was driving and I didn't want to sit there if that was sheep stealers mm -hmm. and wait for them. And I didn't know that the road was washed out. It was in Clay's pasture. Then in our pasture, there was a, a, a bluff on the, we called it the Bonita. And to me, it would be 100 feet down. Maybe it's not more than 50. But they had it fenced off so the livestock wouldn't come up there and graze and fall off. And it was very rough. You couldn't get up there with a pickup or a, even a jeep because uh, pieces would fall out and fall into the, the canyon below. And that was above our house. And as we turned the corner to come in, been to a ball game one night and come in after the ball game and here was a light going down like from one fence post to the other. Just as clear. I don't drink. <laughs> and I didn't plan. Uh, this ball game, uh, you remember anything about the weather? No, I wouldn't have gone if the weather had been very threatening. Not that I... We lived in a, a remote enough area and had livestock that... Uh, oh, I guess I'm uh, an old stick in the mud. I just wouldn't have gone. I'm not that crazy about sports. I guess we're, uh, the boys were playing. One of them. The other one went to the private school. We've had an interesting time. You know, I think so too. And we saw the first atomic bomb. Oh yeah? Yeah. You saw the flash? Yes. Uh-huh. And uh, this is true. Uh, my husband was one of those that uh, thought if you didn't want to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning, you were probably a little lazy. <laughs> <laughs> He shook me and around and he says, come here and look. And we just, this was an old house and just had one, one little window about the size of that out on the west side. And, and uh, he wanted me to see this explosion and I didn't see, did not see any mushrooms. We were in a direct line from Almogorda, uh behind the mountains. But, and, I, and it was very white, and it went right straight up. If there was a mushroom, I didn't see it. I got up and looked and went right back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think it was? Uh, we talked about it a minute or two and thought it, I think he suggested it might be an ammunition gun because nobody knew what was going on over there then. Right, right. It hadn't been announced. Absolutely. And uh, that's what we decided it was, and I thought, well, it's, it's an ammunition dump, so what do you got me up here for? <laughs> so I went back to bed, and I think, I think he went in and made coffee. Had you heard any rumors about what was going on? No. If, if so, I don't remember it. Uh, we, had, uh, we had an awful lot of drought, <clears throat> and we also had uh, planes that we know they came out of Almogorda, out of the base there, that scattered something that, that dispersed the clouds. And um, I, out here, I've got a government bullet and an old um, I've got it out there in a box. I don't know where it is. 